Why Cody Brown is the most disliked TLC villain of all time, caught Brown of sister. Wise is a piece of work, and I would argue he is the most disliked villain on TLC. I mean, what isn't there to hate? Between his crunchy curls and overall unlikable personality, if you watch the earlier seasons, the Browns do come across as a genuinely loving family. I would argue Cody was in love with all four of his wives. He is patient, kind, and considerate. He uses soft language, and he listens, but the man who appears in later seasons is an entirely different human being. Cody is now irritable, quick to anger, and unable to forgive any of his wives, which resulted in him losing his first three. No longer is TLC's Hess series about a loving family, as it is more about how much Cody has morphed into his villain. Era, he spoke down to his wife wives more than once the father of 18 has called out his wives for shit-talking him. But what he calls shit-talking most would call venting from day one Cody always wanted. That trade in return instead cameras caught him often talking disrespectfully about his wives except Robin Brown, his favorite during his big fight with Janelle Brown, the Arizona resident dared to call her lazy. Mind you, the mother of six has been one of the only wives to bring in a consistent paycheck. While Cody has gallivanted around town, Cody has shown off his villain behavior a lot during season 16. Cody revealed some strict KV-19 rules, which caused some major repercussions. And while Cody wanted to be the one the wives chose, it didn't turn out that way with Janelle and Christine Brown. Turning the tables after getting kicked back, Cody noted, frankly, I think Janelle is lazy about an ounce of prevention. This wasn't the only time he called his wives' names he also called. Both Christine and Janelle, too. Princesses giving ultimatums when they didn't want to move into one house on Coyo Pass. He is at odds with the older kids hate, is a strong word, but sometimes. The way Cody treats his older children is unusual sister wives fans have watched his Cody cut out one son after the other for not agreeing with his dictator-like opinions. The polygamous patriarch has a terrible trait of being able to view his children differently once they hit the age of being able to talk back Cody. Wants each of the children to come, begging for forgiveness, or he is out of their lives. He also did this with his wives when they questioned him often, cutting them off romantically and sexually. No one has forgotten how he failed to accompany his daughter Isabel Brown for her back surgery, but chose to officiate a wedding instead Maddie Brown and Lean Brown no longer have anything to do with their dad, who stopped reaching out years before the family started to fall apart. If you didn't like kids to begin with, why choose to have so many Cotty he can't admit he is wrong? Cotty rarely took accountability for anything that hadn't gone as planned. In his life, a great example of this is when he is dealing with the separation from Christine. The polygamous dad is happy to throw blame around as if it is a hacky sack, but fails ever once to say, I did X wrong. I stand corrected the only time. Cotty admitted he was wrong was when he noted he had given his wives too much freedom and should have established a patriarchy personally. I think Cody has always been this way, which is why a religion like Mormonism would have interested him in the first place. I reckon Cody has always been the guy who could dish it, but who falls apart the second he has to take an ounce of it. Back Cody has embraced the notion that being a Mormon man makes him some sort of god, Basically, if his wives or children felt any negativity, it was always going to be their fault, not his Jen asks Mary what Cotty stuck in her ear, sister wives star Mary Brown, revealed that her honeymoon with Cody. Brown left her with a condition and Jen. This this condition could be seriously debilitating at times for the TLC star. But she lived with it all these years, probably because it's bleeing today. She knows the cause and learned about a quick treatment that should fix it, but on her Friday, with friends show Jen asked a question about Cody's part in this, and that question had the two best friends. Rolling in the aisle with laughter, with the fans also finding this hilariously funny world, according to Mary Brown and Jen. Sullivan Mary Brown and Jen Sullivan chat about many things during their life. 
One thing you can always count on is a good laugh. Maybe the world, according to Jen and Mary, would better describe their show. Their perspectives often offer a different take on things, but most of all, these two always conjure up a good laugh. Many Sister Wives fans make this show. A Friday night online destination. While these two talk about nothing, fans still find them extremely entertaining. But this week, Mary revealed she suffers from bouts of dizziness and has for a long time. She said it started 34 years ago. Furthermore, the sister wife star was able to supply the exact date. This confused Jen Sullivan a bit at first, as that was many years ago to remember a date. But then she learned the date and time Mary offered was during her honeymoon with Cody Brown. So of course, shared with Jen Sullivan that these bouts of dizziness started during her honeymoon with Cody Brown. From what Jen and Mary described, the sister wife celebrity becomes dizzy. Sometimes it gets to the point that she can't stand up. Then it goes away. They talked about the crystals in this sister with stars. Ear being out of alignment, this condition often causes vertigo called the pivot benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, according to the Mayo Clinic. Vapf is caused by loose particles of calcium in the inner ear. These particles are microscopic crystals that belong in the inner ear. They should be attached, added to one of the balance organs, but with vapf, these particles. Drift into one of the balance canals where they don't belong. So how do these crystals become dislodged? This condition usually develops after the ear becomes damaged, but there's an easy fix called the canalith repositioning procedure. This non-invasive procedure only involves several simple head movements. When done by a healthcare provider, they can reposition these crystals into a place within the ear. Where they won't cause problems, this procedure usually works, according to reputable health websites. Jen runs with Mary Cody honeymoon, so once the serious stuff is out of the way, the curious Jen gets a laugh going. When Mary said it started during her honeymoon, Jen pipes up and suggests that stress did it through the laughter. Mary denied that, but Jen was only beginning to crack the jokes about how Mary got the condition in the first place. That's because she returned from her honeymoon, suffering bouts of dizziness. But now it looks like her crystals are loose and playing havoc on her center of gravity. So still laughing. Jen Sullivan asked Mary Brown about her honeymoon with Cody. More exactly, she wanted to know just what he put in her ear while on their honeymoon, and that did Jen didn't have to say any more or mention Cody Brown's name again. Mary and the the fans who were watching this live. Got it. So Jen Sullivan's joke painted quite the picture for the mind's eye of how Mary Brown's ear crystals became loose while on her honeymoon with Cody Brown. The patriarch of the TLC. Many of Cot's kids are in long-term relationships. Will these Brown children choose polygamy? Of Cody Brown's 18 children, five of them are married. Do the kids of sister wives plan on following in his footsteps? Steps in having plural. Cot's adult children are unlikely to pursue polygamy, despite growing up in a plural family. The majority of Cot's married children reject polygamy as a lifestyle choice. Resentment towards having to share Cody has deterred the Brown children from choosing polygamy. Several of Cody Brown's adult children are in long-term relationships, but will any of the sister wives stars choose to live in polygamy as their parents did? The series, which premiered in 2010. Focused on Cody, his three wives and their children during the first season. Cody courted and married his fourth wife, Robin Brown, and added her three children to his bro, Cody. And Robin had two children of their own, bringing the total to eighteen by the end of Sister Wives. Season eighteen, three of Cody's wives had left him, and he found himself in a monogamous relationship with Robin. Many of his children had grown into adulthood. And several of them had gotten married. Now that many are married, will any of them follow in their parents' footsteps by pursuing a path to polygamy? Christine Brown's art to choke post at Instagrams about not giving at 27 years old. Madison Brush is Cody's fourth child. Her mother Janelle Brown is Cody's second wife. They have six children together, including Garrison Brown, who died in March by suicide. 
Madison began as a regular on Sister Wives in 2010, but left for college at Utah State University in 2015. College didn't work out, and she dropped out soon after leaving school in September 2015. Madison announced her engagement to Kayla Brush, a 34 year old mind equipment repairman Caleb made several appearances on Sister Wives. After getting engaged to Madison, the and Michael T. Brown were among the bridesmaids and her younger sister Truly. Brown was the flower girl Madison, and Caleb's wedding was featured in an episode of Sister Wives on May 20, 2017. Their son Axel James Brush was born on August 20, 2019. Their daughter Evangeline. Cody followed Madison does not intend to.